Hi everybody, uh, this is Mamta. Uh, I have done many videos before and here is another one. This is regarding um, some people have acne and pimples, uh, you know, from the time their childhood till they are all grown up. And that's fine if it happens, but uh, I had some uh, tips I wanted to share what I, you know, me and my uh, brothers and sisters heard all, you know, all our childhood. And I thought these things might help, you know, need future generations, you know, more people will be, you know, coming. It might be helpful to present people and the people coming after all of us. Anyway, so here it goes. One of the thing is, first of all, eat healthy, eat fresh. Here, us first people like me who have moved to US, you know, first 30 years ago, uh, I've seen through time that we eat a lot of canned and frozen food. That was not part of our, you know, that's not part of our culture to begin with. So that was kind of new and weird for us. And But we have, you know, adapted to all that. Uh, I'm, we're trying to adapt to all that, not that you can ever, get used to eating canned and frozen stuff you know for me that's all just crap but well life is <laughs> life is much different here because in india we eat fresh meals every single you know every single meal is freshly made and freshly eaten 99 percent of the times uh in, in most people's homes uh even the poorest people you know i you know we know most Indians will testify to that, that even the poor, poorest of poor, poor person in India, even if they're just able to afford one meal, it's going to be fresh, freshly made. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm not marking or judging, you know, even I, you know, I chose this life. So that's, that's my, you know, that's my, that's, we, I have to accept that. Anyway, so from that, I wanted to mention from that, that eating fresh is one thing. But it's just not because of uh, not eating fresh food. Uh, we all know that it's because of fried food and all that. Plus, uh, if you are living in a if if you are living in a country where there's a lot of uh, pollution, um, also uh, like not paved streets, so that means the mud is just flying around. In India, we have more paved streets now compared to you know when I you know growing up in India, but. Anyway, so you you understand that that is one of the reasons it can happen: pollution, uh, the mud flying around, and not having enough paved streets. And that's fine too; that's okay. But there are a lot of ways you can prevent uh, or avoid, you know, this happen. You know, this happening. Uh, one of the thing is eat fresh, like I mentioned to begin with. Eat fresh food every single meal if possible. Try to avoid eating fried food and if you are eating fried food then you have to understand these are the consequences i'll be dealing with and be prepared for it then and just accept it then and if if like a pimple or the acne thing starts just let it be most people keep on fidgeting uh trying to break those pimples or the boils or bubbles or whatever comes on their face you know uh, they keep on touching them and flaking or picking on them you know and then it starts oozing and it gets worse and sometimes it spreads to all the you know the whole face and that is one of the things which is a tip my mother used to tell us growing up which really helped I in my opinion I think that helped us brothers and sisters we were four brothers and sisters and it helped us I think uh, that whenever she saw us doing that she would try to stop us very gently hoping that we would listen that uh, she would say, "Beta, if you keep picking at it, beta means like kid, you know, like my my dear one or my kid. Then, then if you could, if you're going to put your nails on it or your skin or nails on it, it is going to spread everywhere." She used to use actually in, say it in Gujarati, "Kid nakhoma poison hoy ani bade spread thai." Means she in in to translate that in to translate that in English would be. She would say, I'm not sure if that's the truth, but and I don't know the, any scientific truth about behind all that, but my understanding is that she warned us and I'm glad she did because I think that helped us have a kind of a clearer skin grow all, all through our years growing up and we all would remember that she, would, she and dad would, mainly mom would correct us and dad would go along with it. That she would say, don't pick, if you see a, a blemish or a pimple or whatever it's called, the, the bumpity bump things we get all, you know, all on our faces, uh, after, mainly after eating fried food or if you have been, you know, or, you know, or if we have oily skin, 
it's not it's nobody's fault it just happens you know sometimes uh, you know n not not everybody eats fried food or you know uh, all the time uh, you know it doesn't have to be just because of fried food first of all let you know let me make that clear also that it's it can be a lot of uh, reasons but anyway so whatever it is you know whatever it is it's happened now let it be and let it finish its cycle and automatically it will go away yeah agreed you have to do a video shoot or uh, you're a movie star or whatever i understand then cover it up with something for a while but i personally don't believe in too many um, maybe a light lipstick is fine but i don't believe in much um, you know lotions and creams for the face and i personally don't but i you know i understand if it's a special occasion i am you know i have allowed somebody to put something on my face at that time you know like a beautician you know how we have beauticians who come to our home or we go to the beauty parlor i have done that a few times in my life but that's that's about it i don't i don't like to put creams and stuff if possible uh, unless if i choose to for some occasion and people nag me that you have to do you have to you know, like one of like my eldest uh, sister in law she will be like she will be like you need to get you know you need to go to a beauty parlor and all that so just to keep her happy i'll go <laughs> i'll go along and get get things done but other than that i like to stay as simple as possible if you know if i if i could live my life how i want anyway so but i understand we have to live in the society and we have to do certain things you know that way also i i i understand that balance but anyway so finally uh, the point what i was trying to make is that if if your naturally if your skin is oily to begin with and that's something you can help and then adding pollution to it and then flying a mud like how we have in india many that we do still have many unpaved streets and that's fine you know right you know i love india but this things happen and then all these things add together the oily skin the uh pollution and the flying mud so what to what to, that in that case then it's a good idea to do like once once a week or so uh if i were if i were you i would do like a chana you know chana flower chickpea flower atta flower take chickpea chickpea flower um in a bowl uh and if you want some people use yogurt like my mom used to encourage us to use and, and we used to do these sometimes we used to put it all over our face uh chickpea flower chana flower with yogurt and turmeric and we would put it as a as a mask and you know up till up till our necks all over our face and all and uh, even our hands and mainly our elbows you know elbows and we used to do our knees and stuff like that and our our feet so you know our you know so and that that really helped you know it would it would become more fairer and take all the dirt out basically i don't think it was fairer i think it was just taking the mud out because i don't believe anything can make you fair like that but uh i think it helped take out the the dirt out of the body and uh, so that's an option but if you feel you have an oil, if you feel you have oily skin and you don't want to deal with yogurt or a milk or you know these kind of things and that's okay too that's fine then you can just use some warm water mix it up with a spoon and you know the bowl and uh, put some turmeric in it and that's good enough and put it as a mask and let it be for 5 10 minutes let it dry off and then wash it off that's it just with plain water and then no then no reason no need to use um uh, there's no absolutely no reason to use uh, soap after that just rinse it off and that's that the next day morning you get up and take a shower like you normally do with soap and water and that is completely okay but other than that just and so basically these things if you do i don't think you should have a major you know unless if you just choosing a life of uh, you know um, you know eating non stop oily food every single day and you know uh, not doing some activity not eating fresh food you know you have to eat fresh food every single day this is uh, actually i should do a video on that actually about eating not eating leftovers that's a good, good <laughs> that's a good one i really that is one of my major things i really you know firmly believe in that people are doing that and you know i understand life is uh, on the go in fast you know fast pace but let's try to keep it as natural and normal and then our body automatically heals itself you know just give it some time be patient in that time when we have chosen to eat oily or uh, our circumstances are such that we are living in a, a you know our either our body type or our skin type is oily 
or we live ne where there's lots more pollution or a lot of mud flying then just then we just have to be uh, you know more uh, you know take more precautions that's about it and it will automatically go away and then to just because your friends and family and all are using uh, creams and all that all the time you know every single day we are using not even giving one day break to ourselves putting lots and lots of makeup and all that that's just that is just all fake you know so i i personally personally i don't believe in that but anyway i guess everybody is different so so i feel like this might help uh mainly the young, young you know young people complain a lot and they tell me you know this is happening and what should i do it's not going away and it's spreading spreading from one side to another side and all over the face so this i think is one thing that try to avoid you know to avoid try to avoid putting your nails and picking at picking at things because the nails are spreading all the all the boils and the bubbles and what whatever is happening acne and pimples and all that that is one of the reason is because we are using our nails and we are ending up spreading and not realizing when we are trying to flake when we are picking at the you know the dry skin or the even the wet bubbles when they just happen we start picking on it hoping we'll burst it or we'll kill it or whatever you know we'll try to you know it it's not a good idea that's that's what i have heard growing up and i thought that's one thing i should pass on to people which i have learned uh, hoping that uh, it might help uh, you know it might really help uh, nick you know for the present people and for future generations to come so that's all i just wanted to share this what i know i'm trying to share okay bye all the best you know with the skin care okay bye